Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Priyanka and we are back again with another exciting and full of surprises video. So let's begin. So what's there in the video today? We are going to learn about alphabets, ABC. Now you will say that the teacher has ABCD padana shuru kar diya. Well, ABCD is very important. Because in this video we are going to discuss about articles, very important letters letters a or and how many articles are important kyu hai? well if you ask the students and the aspirants they will tell you they have to crack a lot of competitive exams it can be any olympiad as well so if you really want to crack it with ease you need to know the perfect uses of articles or aaj ke video mein hum padhenge articles so let us learn together so what's the the first thing that we have to focus it is very simple and very easy hamare alphabets kitne hote hain english mein 24 25 26 yes 26 out of which if i ask how many vowel letters are there i can hear that you said five right a e i o u well this is the perfect question when i ask in the classroom pura class it is like they all shout together a e i o u bada maza aata hai bachcho ke saath mein because they speak like thousand people singing in a single voice which is really good so a e i o u are vowel letters Vowel letters or consonant, baki bache hoye jo humare alphabets hain, wo humare consonants hain. So consonant letters and vowels ka humare articles mein kitna zyada importance hai that we are going to learn in this video. So let us check that what is the first and the basic thing. The first question that comes up is what are articles? जब भी टीचर ने कभी ये क्वेश्चन पूछा या टीचर से कभी किसी स्टूडेंट ने ये क्वेश्चन पूछा टीचर ने कहा ए एन और द दीज आर आर्टिकल्स वेल इज दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन आर्टिकल नॉट एट ऑल डोंट गो टू मिसलीड एनी वन एंड मिस गाइड एनी वन इन सच अ वे दैट इज नॉट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल्स देन वॉट आर आर्टिकल्स आर्टिकल्स आर एब्जेक्टिव Yes, you heard it right. Articles are adjectives. They are describing words. But they are actually, they are really demonstrative adjectives. So, A, AN, AND THE, these three basic articles that we always learn are demonstrative articles. A or AN, kya hai ye dono? Ye dono hai weekend form of one. Yes, of course. So, if you say one book, instead of saying one book, we can say a book, which means one book. So, weekend form of one is a or an. Next, we have to check the uses of a or an according to the sound and according to the context. So, let's first check out uses of a or an according to the sound well sound plays a very important role in using articles perfectly in your sentences so let us learn the simple rules ab ye rules kuch aise basic rules honge jo aapko already malum hai to aisa sochne ki zarurat nahi hai ki ha ye to mujhe malum tha kyunki kuch aisa bhi aane wala hai jo aapko bilkul nahi malum hoga to uske liye thoda sa patience rakhna zaruri hai so let us check this. The pehla rule number one. It says that whenever you find, it's a very basic rule, whenever you find a vowel letter, okay, beginning letter is a vowel and a vowel sound, you have to use an. Very simple. Let's take an example. An ass. I don't know why I took this example, but it's really funny an ass right an ass Achai. next example can be an orange an umbrella right okay 
what can be the another rule rule number two when you find that there is a word which is having its first letter as H but here the H is silent for example our honest these are the words where the first letter the beginning letter H is silent so what do you have to do in such बिल्कुल कुछ नहीं यू हैव टू हियर द साउंड साउंड ऑफ द वर्ड दैट इज आर ऑनेस्ट कैन यू हियर द वावल साउंड येस ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन हियर दैट एंड अनडाउटेडली यू हैव टू यूज एन इंस्टेड ऑफ अ सो वट आर यू गोइंग टू यूज एन आर एन ऑनेस्ट पर्सन अ मैन ओके Let's check the next rule. So there are some individual letters which are having vowel sound. Now this is something very important and it has been asked in some of the competitive exams as well. Ye kafi baar check kiya gaya hai and please do focus a lot because here you need it. Here we have to study that how some individual letters which are having vowel sound are to be used with an instead of a example m a a letter m is a consonant letter but when we say it the sound which is produced is a vowel sound vowel sound m say it with me m it is e m m That means here we can say an m a s p. आप कहेंगे s is consonant letter, madam. Well, I agree with you. But when you say this letter, how do you say it? It has got a vowel sound. S p. S p. E s s. That means once again we have to follow the sound, and here we are going to use an s p. Now, can you tell me what are you going to use before b a or p m? Yes, if you said a, uh, that's correct. The next rule says that there are certain words. Which are beginning with the vowel letter. The words can be one. Okay, it can be one-eyed. But here, the sound which is produced is wa, wa, which is a consonant sound, not a vowel sound. Hear it properly. It says one. Where one is having the sound wa, which is a consonant sound, and therefore we are not going to use an instead of an. We are going to use a, a one-eyed man. Okay. Next rule is quite important because most of us are making it wrong here. The next rule says that we have to. check on these words which are very very important these words begin with a letter which is a vowel university union but we have to use a instead of an why so because here the word the letter u sounds as u y u u which is a consonant sound So check here children all these rules are based on sounds whether a consonant sound or a vowel sound so if it's a consonant sound as u you have to use a instead of an so before we end the short video i would like all of you to just go through this quick test and answer me in the comment section below and this time i don't want you to make any mistakes so all the best do check the video again if you haven't understood any of the rules or anything that you have missed watch it again 
Till then, take care, keep learning. Bye-bye.